Let the paving begin. The county moves forward with licensing liquor stores and the Battle of Chickamauga turns 160 years old. All ahead in this month's edition of Walker 180. The contractor hired to resurface nearly 35 miles of roads in unincorporated Walker County recently started work on the lengthy list. 41 roads, including Halls Valley Road, Old Mineral Springs Road, and Salem Road will be improved this year. Funding comes from $6 million set aside at the 2020 SPLOST for road improvements, along with a small remaining balance of the 2017 T-SPLOST. Once the 2023 projects are complete, all funding currently earmarked for road improvements will be exhausted unless the public votes to restore T-SPLOST, which will be a question on the November 7th ballot. The Walker County Board of Commissioners recently revised the county's code of ordinances to provide for the licensing of package sales of distilled spirits in the unincorporated areas of the county. 67% of Walker County voters approved a referendum last fall, giving the county the ability to start issuing liquor store licenses, but it's taken several months to work out the logistics. A maximum of five licenses will be available in each of the four county commissioner districts. Applications are being accepted at the planning office through September 11th for the Alcoholic Beverage Commission to consider at their September 28th meeting. Four members of Walker County Fire Rescue's Cave and Cliff Rescue Team are back in the Republic of Georgia providing training on technical rescue. Assistant Chiefs James Yearout, Eric Ashburn, and Vinnie Plott, along with rescue specialist Robert Anderson, are teaching a nine-day course on using ropes to rescue patients in tough, rocky terrain. It's part of a National Guard partnership program. Over 260 Covenant College students, faculty members, and Project 52 volunteers recently tackled several service projects in Walker County as part of New Student Orientation Day. The volunteers cleaned up locations in Fairview, High Point, Kensington, and Wallaceville. Projects ranged from cleaning up debris to removing a blighted house. Well, the county proposes to amend Chapter 13 of its Code of Ordinances to join the statewide Timber Harvest Notification System and enact fines for harvesters who fail to notify the county of their operations. Public hearings on the proposed ordinance change will be held Thursday, September 14th and September 28th as part of the board's regular meeting. And the public is invited to learn about the Battle of Chickamauga as reenactors bring history to life for the Walker County Business Park. The Battle of Chickamauga was the first major Civil War battle fought in Georgia and was the second deadliest battle after Gettysburg. Gates will be open to the general public September 22nd and 23rd with battles planned each day at 2 p.m. Well, that's a quick look at what's happening right here in Walker County. We're glad you spent a few minutes with us to get all caught up. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, please like this video and share it with your friends to help keep them informed. We'll see you again next month.